My name is Alex Ball from Viderhorn's uh, Brewing Company. We're based down in southwest London, um, near Tooting. Uh, myself and a friend set up the company in mid-2011. Um, yeah, we, we produce a range of, of I suppose, English traditional owls, uh, as well as some of more modern contemporary beers. Um, myself and, and, and Chris Mills both, both set up the company, uh, started home brewing, we shared a house together, um, brewed beers from pale owls, IPAs, you know, to kind of modern things with, you know, in, in uh, beers, beers with some, with some you know, spices, etc. So just got a passion for brewing from, from there, really, and inspiration from America, you know, the American craft beer scene. Yeah, I think a lot of it is a lot. There's a lot of research. You know, a lot of research in terms of seeing what other beers are out there, what other brewers have done. Um, you know, we we gained a lot of inspiration from some of the American craft brewers. You know, uh, you know, starting from a base beer of say like the Sierra Nevada Pale Owl. That was the first real craft beer that we American craft beer. And every, you know, a lot of us in our brewery tried and was like, wow, you know, that's great. Let's see what we can do. Um, I think it's you know we like to put together a, a genre of what what beer we want to create, and then we can. We work around what other people have done, and then we look at what we want to do and add our own twist to it. Yeah, at the brewery we generally try and stick to to work in the five the five weekdays. Um, we try and have weekends off. Um, we often have you know, we've got our, our brewery tap which is open on Saturday, so sometimes we're in on Saturdays, but we try and have you know at least two days off just to recharge the batteries. Styles, yeah, I think one of my favourite is, uh, is is the kind of red amber beers. You know, I think it's such a you can really work outside the, the boundaries of the style. You can stretch the boundaries of the style to create a beer. You can have a nice, you know, slightly caramel, roasty red beer that's slightly sweet, or you can have a, a real big hoppy amber beer with that nice kind of stinging bitterness. Um, I think in that style you can have you can work. You know, a lot of different beers, um, but then I, I love a you know I love a good dark beer. So you know, your porter, your stouts, there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do there. So um, yeah, I, I think for me it's a different beer, for different situations, and uh, I, it's a lot. Of, I like as a brewer, you know, there's not mere many styles I don't like. Yeah, beer and food pairings. Um, one which I which I. Don't have a lot, but which I really enjoy. Uh, you know, a, even like a nice dark vintage owl or a strong imperial stout and chocolate. You know, I can sit there with a, some chocolate, a good, a good milk chocolate, and a bottle of bottle of imperial stout, and just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a, a big you know big big love my cheeses. Everything from you know your big blue cheeses to your traditional British kind of. Um, British cheddars. So I think there's a lot of pairings you can do. You know, cheese and cheese and beer. You know, you, you, you go all, all the styles of cheese and all the different beers, and you can match them all over the place. Yeah, no, I mean brewing. Or, yeah, drinking local beers. It's basically, that's that is our ethos as a you know as a company. We started up by brewing beers in London for London. You know, that was kind of our our you know, aim. Um, you know, and I think it's important that, you know, okay, you know, you really we try and, especially in London, you know, we try and get Londoners drinking London beer. Um, you know, we've, we've had a lot of inspiration in London from America, from especially that up, you know, up, in, up in Yorkshire, you know, a lot of inspiration. Uh, I think it's, 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 you know, it's good if we get people interested in local beer. Um, saying that, you know, I think it's important that, you know, the UK now sends a lot of its craft beers across the world to let, you know, other, other people know what we're doing. After a after a hard day's work, you sit down and have, you know you, you you can you would you know after the, the first beer of the day is always generally the best one. Uh, it's important. I think you, you you know you get such a good you know such a pleasure from you know creating creating a product from essentially you know some raw ingredients. You know it's like it's like being a 
you know, it's like being a chef, you know, you're, you're putting, putting ingredients together, creating a final product that people can enjoy and drink, and you know, essentially you're you know, creating that from, from, from nothing. Uh, it's, it's taught us to, to follow what you, you know, follow what you want to do as a, as a career, as a job that you enjoy. You know, we're, we're following a passion, um, you know, coming from a, a different industry into brewing. You know, we know that we've got into it just for the pure passion of brewing and the inspiration. I'd probably st still, be, still be working in the city. <laughs> In London, do working for a, an oil company as a finance finance trade analyst. Analyst. Uh, yeah. Uh, I suppose yeah. Coffee. Just you know, being. I think, I think if, you're, if you're into beer, into craft beer, you really you really enjoy. You know, you, you know the flavours and you have a good good palate for all, for all beers and all, all drinks and food. So. You know, big into some some good you know, you know good roast coffees. Um, really like a good a good red wine, a really good you know chili and merlot or something with you know a good red wine with a bit of balls. Um, I suppose yeah, they're, they're, they're the two main. What are my dreams? Uh, well, we 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 set up a brewery. That was that was one of the dreams done. Uh, uh, I think from a from a from a brewery perspective, you know, we want to we want to do some, you know, get into really good pubs and get our beer across the globe, which, would be, which is great. That's our, that's our kind of ne next goal. Uh, personally, um, you know, enjoy life. I think, you know, cheers.